Hey, you're stuck in the Wolf Girl, a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at Step Up, right? The dance movie. The lone fact, I can dance. <laughs> and uh, so, might as well make a movie, right? They need like the old version. All these movies, like Step Up, they got the young people, they're doing all the flips and the moves. Where's the ones for us? Where's the ones for the old gray guys who are uncoordinated? It's just not out there. It's not fair. Uh, no, I'm not talking about dance, obviously. I'm talking about step up authentication. So, tip for you, if you're building an app and you haven't looked at it, look at step up authentication. Here's what is. Um, this was actually, in my mind, pioneered in, in a large part uh, by Amazon, and now you're starting to see it in many other banking applications, what have you. You log in, and if you're doing normal things, you're not prompted to log in again. You're in, you're in like Flynn. But when you cross a boundary, when you try and do something that uh, may indicate um, uh, privileged access or indicate something that an attacker would do, such as changing your credit card or your address or going to purchase, you're prompted to log in. And this reduces the friction because you're allowed to interact with the application, do whatever you need to do, but yet increases the protection because it only prompts you to log in at certain times. Part of that is, uh, with actions. Part of it also is with context. So if you couple step up authentication, which steps up the authentication request, depending on activity, if you partner that with context authentication, which changes your authentication request based on your context, you can create some very strong uh, architectures for authentication. So for example, if you are on a computer you use all the time, maybe don't require 2FA or maybe you set the passwords. If you're at a computer you use all the time and you're home, no problem. If you're at a computer you use all the time and suddenly you're in another state, maybe something should be looked at. If you're at a computer you don't use all the time and you're trying to log in, especially if you're trying to change something privileged, prompt for account. Uh, if you're suddenly in, insert concern country here, China, Russia, Bulgaria, Romania, Romania. <laughs> one of those uh, yeah two-factor right hit them up with two-factor those types of things so the idea here is as the context of your uh, location changes or device changes as the behavior you're performing changes or the actions change step up the authentication request from basic I'm not gonna bug you to username password all the way up to multi-factor and uh, and do so in a way that encourages behavior but reduces friction. So, plenty of frameworks out there right now, APIs that you can be using for context and step up authentication. Take a look, check it out, and if you're building an app, well worth considering. Much better than dancing. <laughs> Take it easy.